another adventure. Thanks for coming along. If you've been with us before, welcome back. If it's your first time, welcome aboard. Uh, today we're off to a place called Seaside in Waterford, Connecticut. Seaside's filled a number of roles over the years as various forms of medical facilities, but it closed in 1996 permanently, and since then it's been a Connecticut State Park. So it still has the original buildings that are abandoned, which is kind of cool, especially if you're into that like mystery of the past and potentially haunted, like creepy vibe kind of thing. It also has big open fields uh, to play with your kids or your dog, though they do say any dogs that come should be on a leash. Um, and it has multiple sections of beach that are almost never crowded, kind of private, they're down a, they're recessed down a wall, so it's, it's a great place to go for your family for just a quiet afternoon, a picnic, have a good time. And your dog can go swimming. True, yeah. Bring along the leash, take your dog swimming. Dogs are allowed on the beach at Seaside. Obviously, clean up after them. But yes, please clean up after them. Nobody wants a sandy poop foot. <laughs> We're also bringing our drone that we just got, so it'll be its maiden flight. Hopefully we'll uh, not wreck it or crash it into the ocean. Hopefully not. And maybe we'll even get some usable footage, but it is our first time flying it, so we'll see. Come on, it's gonna be fun. You know what that means? We can come here and fish at night. We can come here and fish at night. We can say we're fishing back. Okay, so yeah, that's kind of where I was going, but he's my kid. But when it says no swimming. And there's no swimming? It's because there's no lifeguards or anything on duty. I've never been along this path. I think you're right. I don't think we've ever come all the way over to this path before, or at least not stayed on it. I think we usually crossed in the field. There we are. Yeah, this is where we usually come down right here. Yeah, there's probably ghosts in there trying to kill us. Maybe they're good ghosts. Why do ghosts always have to be bad? Maybe there's maybe Casper would come to ghosts. Okay, yeah, maybe Casper. So there's the cover bridge that we came out from underneath in the first building that we came across. Here's the road that comes in. Maybe like a little maintenance shack. The buildings here at Seaside were designed by Cass Gilbert in 1934. He was one of America's first celebrity architects. He designed a number of uh, famous uh, government buildings and train stations here in Connecticut and some other places. He designed the Woolworth Building, the US, the U.S. Supreme Court Building, and the New Haven Union Train Station. Right. I never remember that stuff. <laughs> yeah, the architecture is really neat. And, you know, just looking at the buildings, you can tell that care went into their design trying to make them appealing to the people who were going to come here and stay back when it was a mental hospital. Mm -hmm. For tuberculosis. Yeah, for tuberculosis. Not when it was a mental hospital. Oh, my bad, you're right. That was for <laughs> tuberculosis when sun therapy was early treatment for TV. Um, on the other side of this building, there are huge, long sun decks where they could come out to see the exactly. ocean and be in the sun. Right.
Canada's first center for heliotropic treatment for children with TB. They thought that if kids spend a lot of time outside in the sun and the sea air in particular would help them be cured from tuberculosis. And I mean, how could you not feel better somewhere like this with the ocean air smelling around, all the grass and the sand, and the beautiful buildings, uh, which of course are in disarray now, but were once obviously incredibly beautiful. After Seaside was closed for the TB treatment, its next most famous use was a sanatorium for the mentally handicapped. And it was famous because it was showcased in a book called Christmas in Purgatory, a photographic essay of mental retardation. Seaside was featured because it was actually an example of how a state school should have been run. They took good care of the residents living there. They weren't underfunded. They didn't have any overcrowding or abuse issues. It was just a really great place for their residents. down from the houses to the beach. I've been walking along the wall here and there's this jetty out there. Nate was out there a bit ago and he's taken off uh, with Glenn's out there. So I'm gonna follow along and uh, go see what he's up to and see what the view is like out there. beach because um, we didn't have everything we needed the first day. Didn't think about bathing suits for the underwater camera. Hadn't gotten the drone in yet, which don't know if we're going to have any video or anything from that, but we thought, oh my God, how cool would the buildings look if you know we could get an aerial view of them. Unfortunately, the in between the two visits, we did have a tropical storm type thing. So the beach is very full of seaweed which it isn't normally like. So this is a great place to come down. It's, the beaches are almost always empty. Just a few people here, so you get some nice alone time, hanging out with your family. Away. Well, thanks for coming with us. 
us on our trip to Seaside. I had a great time. How about you, Trish? I did too. Nice. So if you live near us, Seaside would make a great spot for a family day trip or, you know, a couple day trip, whatever you prefer. Uh, if you don't live near us, that doesn't mean you got to stay at home this weekend or on your next day off. Take a minute and look around where you live. I guarantee you there's somewhere interesting or beautiful that you've never been. You just got to look for it. Go check it out. Get off the couch. Go find some experiences and memories. It's good for you. <laughs> but if you're enjoying your life and trip, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for us. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And hit the bell so you make sure you get notifications. And leave us a comment so we know what you think of the show. You can also check us out on Ain't Life a Trip, the podcast, either on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, most of the major platforms. And you can follow Bones on Instagram at Bones the Sound Guy. And then uh, we also have our blog, TrishandGlennV2.com. Make sure you check us out. We appreciate you spending your time on us. And hey, have a great day. Till next time. Bye.